the next 48 hours I'll be in the UK already so yeah packing right now and just got my COVID test yesterday and it was finally negative and we are good to go and also fill up some form and get the documents ready it's 30 kg for the big one and the small one is 7 kg just right and also my backpack that's all I bring to the UK and hopefully it's enough here are the documents a lot of documents that I need to bring because of COVID I need to bring a lot more to prove to travel and yeah last night at home don't know how to enjoy it but yeah it's the last night <laughs> just woke up to a rainy Monday morning and can't believe it's already the last day and I'll be flying off in the next uh, 10 plus hours time yeah yeah my room bye bye and finally this become his place already two monitor Nice. I want it also in the UK. Okay, it's me here. It's not an ads. It's just me going to narrate the rest of the story, the journey that I had, like this, at here in the UK already. Already. So yeah. First of all, we arrived in the airport. It's been a while since we came here. We um, check in our luggage. Uh, the queue is quite long since there's quite a lot of people flying. I don't know why. Maybe because the school reopens now. And after that, we just proceed to immigration. And yeah, that's the part where I left my family and officially going to fly to the UK. And yeah, that's the sad part. I almost cried, but um, no, I didn't cry. So we took some photos and say some farewells and straight me and my girlfriend go into the airport. I mean, into the immigration. So there's a long walk, like a bus ride. And lastly, we arrive onto the Emirates airplane. It's my first time sitting in Emirates. And we unfortunately got some seat in between two people. So we are squeezing in between. So it's uh, really not a comfortable ride. But thank goodness that we actually get to sleep and fall asleep almost throughout the six hours journey. So it's very nice to just skip this part of the flight. And yeah, that's me in the toilet after I woke up in the middle of the night. So we reached the Dubai airport in the early morning, 4 a.m. Uh, Dubai time. And we just um, have three hour transit. So we just moved through the airport and came to our gate very early. So we got two hours break in between. Just, I'm ju I just went to lap out around, walk around the mall, which there isn't much there. And I just took some photos. And after that, we just check in board the plane and the sun is just so nice on the plane that uh, I just can't resist to take some photos this one is a very chill ride because we are well awake and get an hour of sleep plus we, we got a window seat which is the one that is most preferred by all the people and so lucky that that three seats at the window side we occupied two of them and one of it has no passenger so it's basically we having three seats. It's very spacious and yeah, that's a very, very enjoying ride. Seven and a half hours and finally, we reached the UK. 
So after we reached the UK, we just go through the immigration again and took our luggage. Right at the time when we came out from the airport, there's the we, we booked a shuttle bus service from Sheffield Harlem University and there are two people wearing in green, which I didn't show, I didn't show any video at that time. It's very clumsy having two luggage at my hand. So yeah, they are waiting there and we approach them. After that, we just straight away bought the bus. So there's a few other people also waiting there. We are the last one to arrive. So we just straight away go to the bus. And yeah, this uh, one and a half hour journey on the bus, but it doesn't seem like one and a half hour because the view outside is so nice. And yeah, we also get data, right? from a SIM card provided by the Visa Center in Malaysia. So there's a lot to do on the bus. So I didn't sleep, my girlfriend sleep, my girlfriend slept and yeah, enjoy the bus ride. We, after we reach Sheffield, it is actually raining outside. It's not a very big rain, but just a drizzle and it's very, very cold. I was wearing a thin um, pants, long pants and a t-shirt. I just went out the bus and I thought it wasn't that cold. I almost can't breathe that time. So I after get my luggage, I just wear my hoodie and it's just slightly calm it down and we have to wait our taxi outside. I don't know why we are waiting outside, but uh, we're waiting outside under the rain with a few people. So the student, student lead from Sheffield Harlem actually uh, booked us some free taxi ride to our accommodation uh, separately. So, so we get to see a taxi comfortably reach our uh, hostel. So after I reach, I just check in and the person is nice enough to bring me to my block and just ask me to go to level 2 and find my own room. Uh, when I reach my hostel, I'm very hungry and also very tired at the same time. Anyway, I unpack all this stuff and so yeah, I only can show you the room tomorrow. So let me unpack first and yeah, I'll give back to myself to narrate this part. Show you all my room. Good morning. So now it's the second day. Yesterday I was too tired and also the light is too dim and also it's dark already so I finished. I didn't vlog anymore. So yeah. Today I'm gonna just show you around my hostel. Just barely made it, and this is the bathroom area. So small, I hope you can see it. It's just one arm length. Now, here is the draw wardrobe, and inside there, we don't have any hanger yet. I mean, I don't have any hanger yet. And there's a bulletin board over here, and there's the butt bed. And the light, I like this light very a lot. If I sleep, I can just open this and just chill at my bed. First, then I'll just sleep with the light. Yeah, that, that is quite a really nice thing to have. And my desk, uh, one of the favorite spots in my hostel. Biggest desk I ever had. And I can put a lot of stuff on there and I plan to back to get a monitor also. Hopefully to get it soon so I can set up desk. Again, the shelf I decided to put my camera stuff for now and a lot of, a lot of raw over here. So now for outside my room. This is my room. And okay. So Oh, this is the kitchen and the living area. Yep. Outside, I think my friend is still sleeping. So yeah, this is the area that we have in common. Common space. So there's a the stove, we have a sink, we have this boiling kettle, toaster, fridge, microwave, oven, ironing board, vacuum cleaner, heater, and so far, a very chill spot to have dinner, lunch, and I still can't really believe that I'm already in the UK after a day of travelling and finally settled down here 
and yeah, quarantine 10 days. Still can't believe I'm in the UK. There's a lot of things to get adapt to and especially the weather and also the people. <laughs> Don't really dare to speak English in front of them. My English isn't that good in front of them, so it's like Ah, it's hard, it's hard, yeah, it's tough. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. So, I think that's all for this video by Malaysia. And I think that's all for the video. I'll see you in the next video. I think I'll do a room tour, I guess, a detailed room tour after I bought everything and set up, set up my desk and my room. See you, bye bye.